Hello everyone. Welcome back. So in this video we are going to see how we can install the Suprema Biostar 2 on MS SQL database. So let's see how we can do it. My name is Aditya. Let's get started. So we have already downloaded the Biostar 2 software but if you haven't downloaded simply you can visit suprema.inc.com and from product section you can download the Biostar 2 software if you go to product section product overview scroll a little down uh, you will see this more button click on this more button and from here now you can download the 64 bit x86 bit package like for the new installation version update or for the evaluation we are going to use for the new installation but we have already downloaded so simply we will use that so i can simply extract that file and actually i have already extracted that too so here is the setup file i'm already having so one thing we have to make sure if we are going to install Biostar to our MS SQL database, so you must have SQL installed already. That is the first thing. And another thing that you have to make sure, whatever the MS SQL version you are having, it has to be only which is recommended by Suprema. So even it's like if I check Biostar 2 system requirement, so I'll simply not go along with that. If I just open this, I'll open this image in a new tab so that it is much more visible. Now you can see, it says if you are going to use database, so these are the databases that actually supports. So it's like if you are using SQL 2014, make sure it is service pack 2, if it is 16, make sure service pack 1, the same way it is 17 or 19. So if you're going to install Biostar 2 over MS SQL database, then there are a few things you have to make sure. MS SQL must be already installed and during the installation, it will ask the database name. So yes, database also you'll need to create manually. No doubt table will be created by the application itself, but yes, database name and SQL configuration, we have to provide it by itself. So simply I'll run the setup. make it yes and the same way it's asking for the language English or Korean obviously we will use English click OK then this license agreement then this uh, you can say password paste uh, this password it is asking this one is for Biostar to login so anytime once a Biostar 2 is installed and you are going to access the Biostar 2 this will be the actual admin password so simply just type the password, confirm the password, you can see this, it says a warning, admin user password must be managed carefully cannot be forgotten. That means using this password you have to be very careful because these passwords can't be forgotten. So simply now click on next. Now you can see this is the page where we actually uh, you can say where we actually select with which database we are going to install. If we keep it on Express Edition, it will by default install on MariaDB. But what we are going to do, we need to install it over MS SQL database. So we have to select the custom installation and click next. Now here, it will give us an option to choose the database type. One is like MariaDB or MS SQL, we have to choose MS SQL. Now it's asking for the server IP. The server IP it's like MS SQL server IP. If you open the MS SQL, let me just open the management studio to show you what actually it's asking. So this server name you see, this is the actual server name which is being asking here. But the only thing is this, Biostar 2 doesn't requires or you can say Biostar 2 don't takes instance name. It needs the SQL Server IP. So 
for making uh, for doing that you have to make sure that your sql server is being running over ip so if i put my ip which is like currently 192.168.1.9 we'll put the same password click connect it's taking it's taking time because my sql server is not configured to run on ip so what we have to do very first we need to enable or you can say we need to enable the tcp ip setting of sql so what we will do look for sql configuration manager just open that and in sql configuration manager you can see this network configuration click on protocol for ms sql server and from here simply just enable the tcp ip you can simply just right click here and click on enable when i click on enable you see it says any changes made will be saved however they will not affect until the service is stopped and restarted that means we have to restart the ms sql services now simply just go to sql services and restart all the services one by one first i'll start once then the second one when this is done now we will be able to open sql server on ip so i'll simply open it now instead of this server name i'll put my ip address actually i can also put this ip like uh, 127.0.0.1 and i can also use the ip that is 192.168.1.9 now i'll put the password and click on connect so here now my sql is running over ip <coughs> so what i can do i can simply put the same ip address here 1.9 now it's asking for the server port so by default ms sql server port is 1433 now you see this is asking for the database name that ac database ta database and ve database these all three databases we need to create in ms sql manually so we'll click on new query and create database for ac ta and db so i'll run a query create database by star 2 I'll name it AC. I'll execute it. Now I need a TA database. I'll execute it. Now I'll need a PE database. Execute it. Now I just have to give the names of all the databases. So this is my AC database. This is my TA database, and this is my VA database. Obviously. i have kept all of them in a single login so i just have to keep the same username for all, all of them same way the sql password as well so simply i'll put the password for all my databases and now you see this button that says generate the database table so we have to make sure that this tick mark is on now click on next wait for little time because in this duration it actually creates the table in database so sometime it may take few minutes depending on the system configuration so for now we just have to stick and wait till it gives a next option if there is any error or any issue on the same page it will give if there is no issue in connectivity or creating the table it will simply move to the next if it's on this next page that means now my database connectivity is proper so i'll simply click on next encryption also i'll store in the same place we'll click on next next the port availability is also okay if you want to change it you can change it if you don't we can keep it on the default port which is 443 click on next if you want to use the usb device agent for bio mini or bio mini plus 2 devices then you can keep it all else later also we can install it so for now i'll just untick this click on next and stop now wait till the installation completes 
it may take little time so we'll need to wait few minutes okay this installation is almost done just few more minutes to go okay so installation is done click on finish and uh, you can see the icon is here click on this icon it says missing shortcut that means it's asking through which browser i actually want to open it so i'll click on browse and uh, i can actually find out with which browser i want to open it so currently i'm going to open it through the chrome so you can find that under program files google chrome and under application you will see this chrome application select this click on open for the first time when you open it it will simply give you a message that your connection is not private so in order to open this click on advance and at the bottom you see that says proceed to this your ip and un unsafe i'll click on this and here this page comes simply i'll put the username and the password to open it click on login and here i'm logged in once you're logged in you'll be able to see like dashboard user device and all those things see me a total number of added user visual face fingerprint card device and all those details you'll be seeing here so that's it this is how we can install the biostar 2 on ms sql database so stay tuned with us in the further upcoming videos we are going to know much more about these biostar 2 software so stay tuned See you in the next video.